Hello, in this video, video I'm going to give you some tips about programming uh, in general. Um, I'm going to give you an exercise soon and in, an, in the next video actually we're probably going to look at um, some tips about how to get the most out of the course. But in this video, firstly, before all that, I'm going to just talk about programming in general a little bit. So I've got some tips here. We're going to look at these. So my first tip for programming and these really will help you a lot. This is ju not just idle chatter. These will help you a lot if you do them. So strive for great formatting and use auto format. So what you should do is when you're developing your code, let's open this. So when you're writing code, run the auto formatter regularly. So remember that's um, command shift F on the Mac. It's control shift F on Windows and uh, you can alternately, although it takes longer, you can right click the file that you want to format and go to source format. All right, so run that all the time, run this auto format because it's really important for the sake of understandability, readability to keep your code well formatted. But equally strive to write your code um, in a way that's well formatted to start with and you'll know you've got it right because when you run the auto formatter, it won't change your code formatting. The auto formatter will be happy with what you've already written. So try to write your code so that it's formatted well in the first place. And if you get that right, when you run the auto formatter, it won't actually change your code. But keep running the auto formatter. Keep doing that. Um, try to get to a point where it doesn't have to do any work. That will really help you. If you can learn good formatting, you've avoided you know, one of the worst beginner's mistakes uh, that causes so many problems. Bad formatting really causes, um, wastes a lot of time for beginners. So if you can get it right, you know, start getting it right to start, to start with, then that will give you a big um, sort of helping hand. Google error messages. So if you make a mistake in your code, let's miss off a semicolon here. You'll get an error icon here. And also if you try to run it, Let's save it and run it. You'll get an error down here in the console. Unresolved compilation program. Syntax error, insert semicolon to complete statement at line eight. I can even click on this line and it takes me to the, to the right line. Now here it's pretty obvious um, probably uh, what, the, what the message means. Um, well, relatively obvious. Uh, it could still catch you out if you're a beginner. It's telling us to put a semicolon at the end of the line. But often you'll get error messages that are quite cryptic and you don't understand them. Type those error messages into Google or the search engine of your choice. And maybe add Java as well. And then you'll, you'll often see web pages that will be very helpful. They'll explain to you what mistake you've made. Um, and that's a lot quicker than having to, you know, you can ask questions in the course, but it's a lot faster if you can just get to the bottom of it yourself with a web search. So literally, what, whatever the error message says when you hover over the red icon or when you run your program, don't be afraid to type that into a search engine and uh, see what comes up. You might need to add Java as well uh, to get the right results, and that will usually help you it will help you to figure out what's actually gone wrong. Output values of variables. So when you're working through your program, let's take a look at this one here, I think. Um, put in system.out.print line and output the values of variables and put those in your code wherever you're not sure what the value of a variable is. So at this point, for example, um, I might, I might, be going to write more code further down that depends on total height and I might want to check that this total height calculation actually works so at that point I can output the value of this variable total height and check that it is what I expect it to be and that's something that um, all the programmers that I know pretty much use that all the time they they put system.out.print line in their code to check that variables have the values they expect them to be at that point in the program. So you can output um, the same variable multiple times as you work down through more and more lines to check that 
at any point in your program, it has the correct value. That's a really useful tip. You'll see me doing that as we go through the course. Write code a little bit at a time, running frequently. So don't write a whole like page of code, like a big page, bigger than this. Don't write a big chunk of code and without running it. So write your code in little bits and then output the values of important variables or just all your variables or whatever you like. Uh, and then run it, check that works. And then you can delete the system.out.print line if you don't need it and then add more code to it. So what I'm saying is don't write a big piece of code and only then run it. R write code a little bit at a time. Add code to your programs a little bit at a time. And after you've written a new bit, output the values of some variables so you can check that they are what you expect and run the program. So build up your program a little bit um, at a time. That will really help you. And you'll also see me doing this in this course, I think. Um, write the end of a pair of brackets or quotes before filling them in. This will make more sense to you later on. But if you've got something that comes in pairs in your program, like brackets are usually in pairs. So this is a pair of brackets here. That bracket is paired with that bracket. This square bracket is paired with that square bracket. And also this speech mark and this, they're a pair as well. So in general, I recommend when you write some opening pair of something write the closing pair at the same time then go in and fill in whatever's in the middle of them you can do that with quotes and brackets the point is to avoid the point is to avoid situations where you've written an opening quote or an opening bracket and forgotten the closing one uh, so you might want to come back to this video later on because this will make more sense to you later on but keep everything in pairs, write the closing one soon after you've written the opening one. And finally, make sure you know what you're running. Because as a beginner, I often got confused. I'd have multiple projects open. I'd click a run button in my IDE and um, I'd run the wrong code. And then I'd be changing the code and I'd be looking at the output in the console and thinking, why, why, is, why aren't my changes having any effect? And it's simply that you're running the wrong program. You know, so I might be working on this program here, but I, um, you know, I click the run button and it runs, doesn't run that code, you know. So um, make sure you, you run the right thing. And to be doubly sure, so it helps to have the right code selected or the right project at least. I think that will probably, yeah, that changes what you're actually running. But if you want to be absolutely sure that you're running the right thing, select the file that has the main, your main method in it, right click it and go to, uh, go to source, no, sorry, where are we? Go to run as Java application. So um, I select something that I want to run. I right click it and I go to source, uh, sorry, I go to run as Java application. And after that, you can just use the run button, but it helps if the first time you run something, if you're not completely sure you're running the right thing, actually select it, right click it and go to run as Java application. And that, that will, that will help a lot because, um, you'll be, if you've got multiple projects open, it's really easy to get confused about what you're running versus what you're writing at the time. That's it for this video. Um, you might want to come back to this later if you start finding programs getting really confusing. Uh, but I wanted to just run these tips past you to start with. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.